In this tutorial in CyberLink Bar Director, we'd like to show you how to modify a preset title that contains a particle. Sometimes the effect is exactly what you want, but either the size or location of the particle inside the title is not what you want. How can you modify that as well as modify the title text? Let me give you some tips in this exercise. We have a video here of a lighthouse, and let's assume that we want to make a promo for June tours of the lighthouse at a special price. So we're going to do that in this particular exercise. I'm going to go to my title room where I can press the F7 key on my keyboard. And in this exercise, I'll just go to the action pack, number one, and drag down the angles title to track number two below my lighthouse and track number one. Now if I play it without doing anything else, we're going to see it does work, but it pops up in the middle of the screen. That's not where I want it. I also want it larger. So let's see what we can do to modify both of those parameters. So I'm going to double click on my title and that will get me into my title designer. Now in the title designer, it opens up with me seeing track number two, which is my title. But if I drag my slider up, you notice I will see I have a particle as well. The particle is in track one. Let's assume we want to modify the particle as well as the title. So I'm going to click my time indicator or playhead, put it about in the middle where I can see both the title and the animation of the particle. And we're going to click on the action square and double click to get now into my particle designer inside my title designer. I've turned on some grids here and I see that I'm right in the center of the screen, which is where I don't want it. If you don't see grid lines, you can click on the square to the lower right and you have a grid line option. Off my screen, it will give me the grid that I have available. I'm at a six by six. Let's go 10 by 10 just for fun. And now I have a tighter grid. So let's take our particle and I'll hover over the red dot with the green center and we'll move it all over to the upper right. No, a little bit down. Okay, down one grid, grid mark here. And there I have my particle, but I, I like it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to drag on the left side under the parameters of the particle to size. The default here is 30. I'm going to change this to 40. And when I click back into my preview window, I see it's larger. So now I've modified my particle size and particle location. I'll click on the back button below at the bottom. And now if I play this, the text won't be aligned with the particle, but I do have the particle in the location I want. So the next thing I want to do is I won't need to move the text, so I'll click on track number two, and that highlights my text. I'll take the mouse and I can move the text with the mouse, or I can use the up, down, left, right with a keyboard. Let's drag across all the text and change this to June Lighthouse Tour Special, 50% off. Now I'm going to drag across all of my text and let's make it somewhat larger and let's make it bold and now I need to reposition it again so I'm going to click till I get my double arrows and use my arrow keys on my keyboard I like that for positioning and here is my text so I will go back to the beginning and we'll play this and now I have my modified particle and my modified text. Now I'm going to click on OK and close my title designer. Now when we play our movie, we find that the clip does exactly what I want in the location that I prefer. Now what if I want it on the screen longer? The temptation will be to simply take this clip and drag it and make it larger. 
change the duration, but that doesn't do exactly what I want. Let me show you why. I'm going to turn off track number two, and then I'm going to take this clip and copy it and paste it on track three. Now with it on track three, I'm going to stretch it. But watch what happens when we play it on track number three. It starts out fine. I see the text just the way I want it. But notice what happens afterwards. It doesn't keep repeating the text. Why? Because if I go back into that particular preset title, into the title designer, you notice I have these two opacity keyframes. And the last one turns the opacity off. If I were to stretch it this way, I would have to go back through my project and to keep changing the opacity value of the text on and off to match where it is here in my uh, modified particle. What I would recommend doing instead, we'll cancel out of that, is simply take that one and repeat it. Right click, do your copy again, press the end key on the keyboard, Control V to paste, end key, Control V to paste, end key, Control V to paste as much as you want. And now it will keep repeating with the timing of the preset for both the text and the graphics. So now we're going to delete our title that we stretched, go back and activate the track of the title we want to use that we duplicated, go back to the beginning and play it. And now we see that we have it working in the first segment and it just simply repeats on every other one. So now it's controlled and the timing is what it was as it was originally designed, even though we've modified some of the parameters in the preset title that contains a particle in CyberLink PowerDirector.